Uh, are you serious? Are you serious, folks? Now I'm getting some more reports. This one coming in from Sheila of Alabama on the Malaysian missing plane, MH370, the flight, the plane that everybody's searching for. You got the whole world looking for this thing. And what about the French satellite? Said there was 122 objects, and they got people going that way. Yet nobody has given us anything tangible. I haven't seen one piece of a plane anywhere. But now we have more. I mean, first it was, <laughs> how many satellite images are we going to get? When are we going to get some hard evidence? And why isn't that black box beeping? Now, we just got a report, Sheila of Alabama. Uh, this is coming in from the Word Post which is a partnership of the Huffington Post. And they are reporting, just came in, the Thai, Thailand satellite has spotted 300 objects floating in the Indian Ocean near the search area for the missing Malaysia airline jetliner. 300 objects is now being reported, uh, spotted by the Thai. Thailand. But why doesn't the Americans have any reports? Why doesn't the British have any reports? Why doesn't the Chinese? Well, the Chinese did have the first reports of what looked like a plane, but that ended up being a farce. But I mean, what's going on? I mean, you've got 25 nations of the world looking for this thing. We've got GPS, satellites, sonar, uh, RFID microchip type uh, uh, radar technology, advanced technologies of every sort. Nobody can find this plane. And every time somebody says they see objects, nobody ever brings the objects forward. Well, let's see if maybe it's the, it maybe Thailand has actually come up with something. We'll, we'll wait and see. But again, we've got some new breaking information. Uh, Thailand, Thailand is saying that they have seen 300 objects floating um, in the Indian Ocean somewhere near where the um, potential site of a crash could be. Uh, also, I've got some more news that's really important. Egypt, uh, General El Sisi is going to run for president of Egypt. That news has just been announced. He will run for president in a nationally televised speech. El Sisi who arrested Mohammed Mercy and took him out of power uh, and did it, did it in a way that was pretty peaceably, really, uh, considering the fact that there was 30 million Egyptians who took to the streets protesting, no more mercy, no more mercy, which is actually prophesied that there would be a fierce king and a cruel lord that would rule Egypt. And uh, we know that Mohammed Mercy definitely fulfilled that in the one year he was in power. Uh, anyway... El Sisi uh, said he has resigned from the military. He is going to be wearing military fatigues, but he said it was the he was wearing his military fatigues when he made this announcement. But he said it's the last time he would wear it. I give up the uniform to defend the nation. I, he is going to run uh, in the elections expected next month, in the month of April, during the blood moons, maybe during the signing of the peace agreement. Uh, wow, are you serious? The Pope is meeting with the President in the Vatican. John Kerry's looking over both their shoulders. Uh, John Kerry was meeting with President Abbas of the Palestinians yesterday in Jordan and then talking to Prime Minister Netanyahu on the phone, on the airplane, flying back to the Vatican. Wow. Now Egypt president uh, is going to get a new president. His name, General El Sisi. He'll be your next president of Egypt. What does that mean? Let's just wait and see what's going on. A lot of stuff happening in, in current world events, and they're shaping things up, of course, according to Bible prophecy, right on the money. I'll be right back in just a moment.